The day began routinely for Clayton Shriver, a trip to Walmart with his girlfriend in Westminster. It ended with Shriver under arrest after being tased by police. Exactly what happened in between is now very much in dispute. In a lawsuit filed in federal court against the city of Westminster, Shriver says he began feeling ill and went to sit and wait for his partner inside the McDonald's. According to the lawsuit, he mistakenly sat down at a seat which was designated as a non-seating area due to COVID. McDonald's staff then asked him to leave, but Shriver says he did not understand them because he's hard of hearing. When police arrived, Shriver says he told them he was suffering from a medical condition and walked away when he thought he was simply being asked to leave. That's when Shriver says Detective Michael Owen grabbed him, threw him to the ground, and tased him. The Westminster police have a much different version of events. In a written statement, they say they arrived after Shriver was involved in a disturbance over his refusal to leave the premises. According to police, Shriver became agitated and began to yell profanities after being told he was not free to leave, that he was told he was under arrest after he began to walk away that he was tased only after kicking one of the officers while they were on the ground. According to Westminster Police, both of the officers involved in the incident have since resigned from the department. Officer Michael Owen resigned in February 2021, Officer Tyler Farson in May of last year. The department says their resignations had nothing to do with Clayton Shriver's arrest. By the way, the criminal case against Shriver was eventually dismissed. Tom? There's always video these days that uh, tells part of the story. All right, Matt, thank you.